Curious what dates do to a diabetic's blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I am testing two medjool dates about 30 grams total. Here is what these two dates pack in. About 133 calories. And a whopping 97% of that comes from carbs. This much dates contain about 36 grams of carbohydrates, 32 grams of sugar, 3 grams of fiber, just 1 gram of protein and a mere 0.3 gram of fat. On top of that, they contain small amounts of calcium, iron and potassium. And here's the kicker. Dates have a glycemic index of around 70, which means they should hit the bloodstream fast and hard. Fingers crossed. And here's my blood sugar level before eating. 98 milligrams per deciliter. Dates are often called nature's candy. Dense, sweet and packed with quick energy. But here's the debate. Some studies argue that thanks to their fiber, dates in moderation are safe for diabetics. Others say the sugar concentration is so high, they are an absolute no for people with diabetes. Which is it? Well, that's exactly what we are about to find out. At least for me. Alright, it's been a few hours since I ate the dates. And now, it's showtime. So here comes the million dollar question. Are dates a go or a no-go? And here are the numbers. My blood sugar went from 98 mg to 116 milligrams per deciliter within two hours. That's a jump of just 18 points, which is unexpected surprise. Honestly, I was expecting much worse. If we look at the curve, there was even a slight dip right after eating, which means the carbs and sugar didn't hit my bloodstream straight away. After that, it rose gradually and then leveled off at 116 mg in two hours. So for me, dates are officially a go.